I want to ask you something. Let me say this first. In the past. Not saying I don't do anything wrong now, but in the past, I was worse than how I am now. Bad. Bad back then. I would do this, I would do that, bad things. And the way it was, I believe I was empty inside. Like, I did not really have happiness. Yes, I had On average, the feeling I felt was not happiness, was not so much sadness, but like uh, emptiness. I don't know if I am describing that correctly. It got to the point where this may sound silly this may sound unbelievable but it was at the point if i remember correctly it was at the point where i did not know how happiness felt like i know what happiness is but at that time Like, I could not really, like, I did not know, know if it was true. I don't know if I am saying this right. So I did not really know happiness around that time period. I did not know it. Even though I was fornicating, even though I was lying so much, manipulating in a bad way, getting drunk, doing things what I thought I wanted to do. Even though I was doing what I wanted to do, some things, not everything, I guess, some things I wanted to do, I was not happy. Yes, I would be angry a lot. I would be, I would assume, depressed a lot too. So, I believe some people are trying to find happiness in their wrongdoing life. Like you are doing evil so much and you may think you are content in it, but you may be surprised why if this is the case for you and i believe it is the case for you you may feel surprised why you can't find happiness now think about this do satan feel happiness If you go to Galatians chapter 5, I think, and maybe verses 21 through 23, 
I may be wrong about that scripture, but I believe it speaks about the fruit of the Spirit. And since I am on the internet, let me go to it if I can find it. So Galatians chapter five, verses 21 through 23. Okay. Let's go to the King James Version. If I can find it. Okay. I think it's Galatians chapter 5. We are going to find out. Or maybe it's not. Let me check. The fruit of the Spirit. According to Wikipedia. Yeah. Okay. I believe, yes, I think it is Galatians chapter 5, 22 through 23. Hmm, I was scrolling through Galatians 5, but I could not see it. Hmm. Let's go to it. Okay. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith meekness temperance against such there is no law so these are attributes if i am saying that right of the holy spirit so if you choose to accept jesus christ in your life I believe, choose to have, yeah, you choose, I believe if you choose Jesus Christ to be in your life and you are really trying to follow his ways, I believe you will have the Holy Spirit. And I believe in order to exercise in these attributes, you will need the Holy Spirit. If I am saying that right. Yes, I believe in order to even have these attributes, you will need the Holy Spirit. I truly believe so. Because let's say that you are a witch, an evil witch. Can you really have joy? I don't think so. So anyways, to go back to what I was talking about, the joy. I think I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Yes, I think I know what I was talking about. Joy. How can you have joy, happiness, if you are choosing to not change, if you choosing to be wicked? As I stated before, I used, not used, how can I say that? I still do bad things from time to time, which I am trying to strive for perfection. But in the past, I was content for a segment or segments of the past. I was so-called content in doing wrong. So I was choosing to not really accept Jesus Christ in my life. I was choosing to do wrong. Like I was trying to, I guess I was trying to find happiness in doing wrong. So I believe you will need the Holy Spirit to have joy. 
So if you were, I mean, if you are the way I was, or worst, as in you don't want to change, you want to continue to be wicked, how can you find joy? I, I glanced at an article. Sometimes I read certain things. Actually, I glanced at a title of an article and it was saying something like some billionaires billion billion heirs are depressed or not happy or something like that and i found that interesting i may read it if i can find it what is coming to my mind now I believe some people try to find happiness in money, in a woman, in a man, in iPhones and laptops. And I believe some people try to find happiness in stuff and things like that. Or should I say, I guess, yes, I believe I am saying that right. If you are not primarily basing your happiness on Jesus Christ, how can your happiness be sustained? Hmm? If your life pretty much only consists of making a lot of money, trying to be the most popular person in the world, like let's say you are basing your life off of very, very fragile things. How can you have joy? When joy is only in God. Satan don't have joy because Satan don't have God. Demons don't have joy because they don't have God. I don't believe they can even uh, get joy. They may have their own imitation of it. They may look like joy, but I don't believe it is. So you are living in this life, believing you can do whatever you want, but you think that you will get joy out of rebelling against the one who created you. Does that make any sense? I believe God made us to be with him. So if you separate from the source, how can you be fulfilled? Okay, let's say you have a printer. With my printer, I have like a detachable plug, a detachable plug that you plug into the wall to power up the printer. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be really easy to understand. Without that plug, my printer can't turn on. Can I say my printer 
won't operate as it should, right? If I take the ink out, the black ink, how will it work? Listen now. Without God, we would not even exist. You may say to me, Kevin, I am not for God. I am for myself. I am not for the devil either. But if you are choosing to rebel against God, by default, you are for the devil. You are on his side, whether you know it or not. So to get back to my subject, I believe you can only find your purpose, only find joy in Jesus Christ. I believe there are so many depressed people in this world and what I find with some depressed people, they focus on themselves too much. I think almost every depressed person I met, they focus on themselves too much. You know, back in the past, this happened to me. Now this person is this way to me. That person is that way to me. Everyone is mean to me. Why can't people be nice to me? Me, 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 me. How about you get over yourself? I believe everyone can point out the inconveniences in life. Myself. I can focus on how I was treated when I was younger. I can focus on how I am treated now. I can point out every bad thing in my life. But what purpose is it? How is that going to help me? How will focusing on my problem so much help me? Let me think positive. Let me think on helping others, right? Let me stop here. God bless you.